today's video, I'm going to show you guys 27 ways to get factory parts. So let's get right into it. The first way and the best way and the easiest way to get factory parts is recycling full durability guns. You put in a weapon in your recycler, wait one hour, come back, see if you get factory parts or not. It doesn't matter what gun you recycle, it can be a Glock or Uzi, but higher tier guns will give you more factory parts. For example, like a minigun that might give you two to three factory parts when recycled. It does matter what level you recycle it at. For example, if you recycle at level 50, you will get a higher chance to get factory parts. Now, the amount of factory parts you get depends on the durability of the weapon so if you recycle 1% red durability weapon you will get nothing you still have a chance but the less durability the less chances to get the item so in conclusion recycle full durability guns and that's the easiest way to get factory parts if you want to level up your recycler firearms then just recycle 1% durability guns second way to get factory parts is bunker bravo Anything other than recycling gets super hard after this one, so to get factory parts, Bunker Bravo man. Second floor, find a loot box, will give you one factory part, sometimes it could give you two, I never saw that before or can't even recall in getting two. Third floor box will give you two to three maximum factory parts, fourth floor will give you two to three maximum factory parts. In total, you could get from five to seven factory parts total, doing all second and third and fourth floor in Bunker Bravo. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. Just do Bunker Bravo when there's a seasonal event. I have many videos on how to do Bunker Bravo with just a Glock or just melee, so make sure to check that out. Rolling caps. The next way to get factor parts is rolling caps. By default, you can get factor parts by just rolling caps and winning jackpots. I suggest saving a lot of caps and just forget about gas station. Whenever there's a test your luck seasonal event, just go do that roll your caps from 15k to 20k caps and you'll be able to get these factory parts just make sure you check out the rewards in the season event and the ones you actually need before rolling your caps the next way to get factory parts is laboratory box b2 box or should i call it the blue hard mode box you just open the blue hard mode box in the laboratory not the blue one but the blue hard mode one which has the best rewards in that crate in the lab. B2 Blight Boss also drops factory parts in laboratory. Killing the Blight Boss in B2 sector, you can get factory parts from him. Make sure to check out my free to play tutorial on how to do lab with spears. Basically, I don't use guns to pass the sectors. You might want to check that out if you're struggling or just in general want some tips and tricks. Doing yellow zones in pine woods. There is this encounter in yellow pine zones. It has to be pine. If it's limestone, you will get a different encounter. I believe. And that is the Genesis camp encounter that you're seeing on screen. I have never ever found this encounter myself in the game, by the way. But here's the picture and how it looks like. In this encounter, you will get armor piercing guns and factory parts. Another way to get factory parts is by trading with the fishermen. An event that will spawn every single day after you log into the game and go on the global map, which is called the fishing spot. You can go there and you'll find a fisherman that you can trade with. Fishes for factory parts. Although note, after you go there for the first time, you will only find a tent with a fish rod and bait. The next time you go there, you will find the fisherman that you can trade with. You can also get factory parts from doing deliveries. That is done by going to the port and doing deliveries as a reward, you can get randomly factory parts. Sunken Crate is another way to get factory parts. Sunken Crate is obtained by getting reputation experience, doing sewers, and once you level up one level, talk to the NPC to claim the Sunken Crate key, and then you can bring that crate back to your base, dissolve it in the acid bath, and after you open it, you will get factory parts. Do note that the loot scales up if your reputation is higher, so if you have low reputation level, it will give less loot. So I advise to open the sunken crate at level 16 or whenever you get an equalizer from that NPC. Another way to get factor parts, and it's a really good way, is laboratory event. It is a seasonal event. Every season there will be one lab event that you can clear. Doing A1, A2 and B1, B2 sectors will give you carbon and factory parts. Sometimes it gives only an A1 and A2, sometimes in all sectors. I don't know if it's a bug, but if you're struggling to do lab, check out my free-to-play series on how to do A1 and A2, B1 and B2 with just spears, and in general for just some tips and tricks. The next way to get factory parts is Transport Hub opening BPD crate. It is a black box and it's a really easy way to get factory parts. It's just opening the 
BPD box, which is in my opinion the second best box to open in Transport Hub, and rewards are really great items. To go to Transport Hub, you need a drone by the way. Once again, check out my video on how to get your drone, or just check out my free to play series videos, I cover everything about this game in these series, and how to get the drone. Next way to get Fractor Parts is Transport Hub Truck Crate. There is a hidden truck cargo crate at Transport Hub. Once you go down the ladder, clear all the enemies, there will be loot in this truck. Transport Hub Bridge Crate. Once you finish your bridge in Transport Hub, there will be one crate that can give you factory parts, which is the Acid Melter Room. It's very rare and it's very unlikely that you'll get one, but it's possible. In any of the three containers that you open in Transport Hub, there can be an Echo Crate. That Echo Crate will give you factory parts or carbon, so make sure you don't miss these out. Doing settlement expeditions will sometimes give you factory parts. It's a really, really good boost for obtaining items fast by doing expeditions and settlement. Although know that settlement progresses very slow in this game, so don't be surprised or angry about that, that you cannot pass an expedition. It's normal, you're supposed to get stuck. Settlement daily loot, once you unlock the expeditions. Unlocking expeditions, every 5 levels will unlock daily loot for you. So every 5 levels you can see a big box. Once you unlock that big box, it will go into your daily loot for it. You will be able to get 3 factor parts daily if you unlock all stages in settlement. Your main gain for factor parts is going to be settlement expeditions anyways. Sometimes there is a rare event that the devs sometimes put in the game, which is the Forlorn Fair event. And this event is able to give you factory parts by exchanging fair tickets with an NPC. And that will give factory parts inside the loot box. Supply event. Seasonal event, by the way, that will happen once per season. Most likely, it's always on the end of the season. Once you accumulate 1,500 points, you're able to choose between three main rewards, and that could be factory parts. Arena is another seasonal event, and it appears once every season. You can get factory parts from finishing Arena, and of course, if you need tips and tricks on how to do Arena, make sure to check out my free-to-play series and guides on how to do Arena with just unmodded Galax. Next up is Collector's Event, and it's a seasonal event that will appear once every season, and you can get factory parts by collecting all the posters from that event. Sadly, this is the only event I don't do in the game, because I'm just too lazy. It gives you an armor piercing gun and factory parts for collecting posters, but I can just go recycle two blocks and boom, I got four factory parts by doing nothing. The next one is Survivor's Path. It gives you 10 factory parts. Doing Survivor Path is good because it just gives you 10 factory parts once you reach a certain stage. Make sure to claim your rewards. The next event is the Big Hunt. Seasonal event. There's a big hunt that happens every season. It's a seasonal event and it's a really garbage event. You'll probably never get factory parts from doing this event, but I'm just saying this event gives you factory parts. So there you go. The next one is buying packs with factory parts. Pay to win. You can buy factory parts from the shop store by spending real money, obviously. And why would you? I wouldn't. The next thing is buying season pass. Also pay to win. Buying season pass for real money will give you factory parts once you unlock the rewards in the season pass. I don't recommend doing so, season pass is so expensive. Only do so if you really need it or want to. Next one is Wreck Ship. Wreck Ship happens once per season and there's a chance you can get factory parts from it. You basically kill all zombies and claim your rewards from the NPC. Very unlikely that you'll get factory parts, but you can try. The last one is Commune Event. It's also a seasonal event that appears once per season. And the rewards on it is RNG based, whether you will get factory parts or not. You have to kill waves of zombies and on the end you get to choose your reward. The reward once again is RNG and you can get random rewards from it. If you want to get factory parts from it, well, you can kill all the waves. And then if you don't get the reward you want, die, come back and redo the waves until you get the reward. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching, let me know in the comments down below what next video you want to see for the last day on earth. And of course, make sure to join my discord if you want to engage in my community. And I'll see you guys in the next one, take care and peace out.